the study of algorithmic fairness, and more specifically fairness in machine learning, is in a much more nascent state than privacy, and in particular differential privacy. Um, but we already know it's going to be a little bit messier than privacy, where I think many people who've thought deeply about privacy have kind of converged on differential privacy as the right core notion. Um, so there's not agreement on definitions in, in fairness. And in fact, it's even worse than that. Um, it is known that entirely reasonable definitions of fairness that each make sense in isolation are provably mathematically impossible to achieve simultaneously. Okay? And this was actually discovered through a controversy um, between a company that had developed a criminal risk assessment model used in sentencing decisions and a watchdog group that audited that model and pointed out the way a, a particular definition of fairness under which it was racially discriminatory, the company came back and said, like, well, we're very concerned about racial fairness. And we implemented racial fairness in our model. We used this definition of racial fairness. And there was some back and forth between these two parties. And then some more mathematically minded researchers in the community said, like, huh, I wonder if it's even mathematically possible to achieve these two things simultaneously. And they, they proved a theorem showing that it wasn't. So not only like the study of privacy will there be these trade-offs between fairness and accuracy, it's even worse than that. There might be trade-offs between different notions of fairness or even between different notions, the same notion of fairness in different groups. So in particular, there's no guarantee that if I build a like, predictive model for lending and make sure that it doesn't falsely reject black people more often than it falsely rejects white people, there's no guarantee that in the process of enforcing that fairness condition, I won't actually magnify gender discrimination. Okay? And that when, you know, to put it bluntly, something that we say kind of early and often in the book is that when machine learning is involved and you pick some objective function to optimize like error, you should never expect to get for free anything that you didn't explicitly state in the objective. And you shouldn't expect to avoid any behavior that you didn't specify should be explicitly avoided, right? Because if you're searching some complicated model space looking for the lower error, and there's some little corner of the model space where you can even incrementally, infinitesimally improve your error at the expense of some social norm, machine learning is going to go for that corner because that's what it does. 